It's something that I, I describe as a marathon, not a sprint. The drought is a very serious situation, and um, given the fact that we've never seen this uh, level of drought in California before, um, it's really something that we're, we've been taking serious. This unprecedented, slow-moving natural disaster is a high priority for California officials. Their goal is to try to stay one step ahead of the drought by closely monitoring the impacts to water systems, agriculture, and industry. That's why the State Operations Center in Sacramento began working on the drought even before the governor declared a state of emergency. We activated it in early January because actually what people don't realize is that the drought conditions have been going on for years in California. And it's just this year that the conditions have uh, become so extreme that we've needed to implement some mitigation measures. This may not be a typical natural disaster like a wildfire or earthquake, but it does require a wide range of personnel from the Office of Emergency Services and many other state agencies. We're kind of like the agency that kind of brings it all together. So when a, a big emergency hits, our agency helps to bring all the resources together that are in California to make sure we can cover costs and need and make sure that things are okay and back up to speed. The Department of Water Resources, California Department of Food and Agriculture, Fish and Wildlife, and many others. They're all working together to give the leaders of the Governor's Drought Task Force critical information for decision making and taking emergency actions. We're trying to anticipate what things may be and how bad it may get. So in some ways it's looking at the worst case scenario with problems with drinking water, problems with lack of water for agriculture, compounded by a drain on our resources, perhaps for firefighting, um, for power shortages, or other things that, that could happen in California. Dried up creek beds and barren hills that resemble a hot summer day in August instead of February are already happening. So what can we do? How can Californians help in these unprecedented dry days and months ahead? Individuals, citizens, need to understand that they are the first line of defense. The more they do to conserve, the better it's going to be. I've been talking to my kids. We've, we've completely um, ended all the landscape watering, and I've talked to my kids about lessening their water use and treating it as the precious resource that it is and not use any more than we absolutely have to.